Hi, this is Ben with ProStar. Oftentimes in the construction, engineering, and surveying industries, companies have records of their utility lines, and they also go out and pothole or daylight the utilities to expose their true location. Oftentimes, these two pieces of information do not match up in the field where the pothole is actually accurate and the line work is off. In this video, I will show you how, as a field user, you can connect your line work directly to the potholes, inherit the attribute information, and correct your records without ever having to go do the work in the office. So the first thing we want to do is turn on Snap Options in Point Man. To do this, I'm going to go to the top left corner and tap the Menu button. From here, I'm going to tap on Settings and scroll to the Map section. As you can see, there's one checkbox turned on, which is Show Snap to Point Option on Move. I'm going to leave that turned on. I'm going to hit Close on the top right corner to return to the map. Once I'm on the map, I can select my line, and as you can see, the location of the line and the location of these potholes are very different. If I want to move my line work over to where the pothole actually says the utility is located, I can do so by tapping move at the bottom toolbar. Now I can see where all my vertices on my line is. And by using the select button at the bottom, it's highlighted in orange, I can select the line vertice that I want to use. So if you look at uh, the second line uh, section, the second white circle down from the top, I can tap on it to select it and now it's highlighted blue. If I want to snap that line section over to the left to attach to that pothole, all I do is tap snap at the bottom of the toolbar. Now it's highlighted orange. At this point, if I tap on the pothole, the line is moved over and I have a confirm or cancel dialog. If I hit cancel, Point Man will back out and none of the changes will be saved. But if I hit confirm, that line vertice now has inherited the potholes X, Y, and Z information, which maintains a 3D polyline. The next thing I can do is either hit finish here to stop, or I can continue down the line and snap all of these lines over to the potholes. So what I'll do is use the select tool highlighted in orange, tap on the next vertice that I want to do, and then tap snap. Once I tap on the pothole, this section of line is moved over as well, and I'm represented re with cancel and confirm. So I'm going to hit confirm, and then I'll do the last one by tapping select, selecting the line vertice, and then tapping snap, and selecting the pothole. Once I hit confirm, my workflow is complete by hitting the finish button. Now, as you can see, the line is snapped over to those potholes and any of the attributes associated with those potholes is now associated to the line. This enables the user to perform this work in the field or in the office without a GPS unit once the potholes have been recorded. 